All right, who's first? <laughs> well, Dominic, I know it's still fresh right now. I'd imagine it's going to take some time to really soak it in and process it. But after what has been, I'm sure, an amazing week and then an incredible fight, what, what are the emotions going through your head right now? Disappointment, first of all. Um, I am proud of myself, though. You know, I went out there and fought with all my heart. You know, a goal for me for this fight was to make it an ESPN Instant Classic. Um, and I feel like I accomplished that today. Um, man. Man. I, f I do feel disrespected, you know. Um, one of the judges had it 49-46. Like, who are you? I might want to have a word with you. Uh, <laughs> but other than that, man, I know I, I, know I won that fight. I, I know I won that fight. I was in that fight. I don't have to watch the replay. I was there. I, I made John Jones look like just a man. I, I brought the fight to him. And uh, man, he's a fucking man. Talk about as the fight was playing out. I mean, you, you did exactly what you said you were going to do, right? I mean, you, you laid the game plan out and you, you executed it from, from, I mean, from the opening bell. So I mean, as the, as the fight is playing out, the rounds are playing out, I mean, are you starting to say to yourself, like, oh, oh my God, this is a reality. Like, I can't believe this is happening. Uh, round one went exactly how I thought it was going to go. And it was a little bit trippy. I was like, whoa, like, this is going exactly how I thought it was. <laughs> like, heck yeah. Like, it's, it's one of those things, you know, I don't have, like, all kinds of big coaches and all this. I don't train at a big gym. You know, I kind of just work in the dark. I kind of work just in the basement, in, in a sense. You know, and this is kind of, this, for me, this is a huge validation, you know. It's my very first time going five rounds in my entire career against John Jones, who is arguably the greatest of all time. And I put it on him. You know, I took it to him. I, I man, I feel like I'm the, the people's champ. <laughs> <laughs> I think you even said that you, you think you gave him the last two rounds, but you think you gave yourself the first three. Is that the way you, you scored it? Yeah, um, three to two or four to one. Um, it could have it could have been either of those. I, I truly believe that. I'm not even just saying that. I mean, look look at the numbers. Look at look at how the fight played out. I've, those takedowns. How can you even score those as a takedown? He burned more energy trying to take me down. I just popped right back up like it was nothing, and then I elbowed him off the break. So it's like you're gonna you're gonna do me like that. But it is what it is, man. All I know is. I am the truth, and people are, are going to, people, people saw that tonight, you know, I, many people from the top down in this organization have told me I won that fight, and uh, I'm so proud, I'm so proud, and I'm proud to represent, you know, my friends, my family, my culture, you know, everybody who's believed in me, you know, I, 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 shook, I shook up the world even though I didn't win in the judge's eyes. Yeah. Last thing for me, Dom, I mean, it, you definitely accomplished it. It was an instant classic. There's no question about that. So uh, let me ask you, will you, I'm not sure if that was the one you brought in or not, but it's probably. I don't either. Okay. <laughs> uh, look, you're going to have to take some time and heal up. I, I know that, that's for sure. But um, will, you, will you push for a rematch? I mean, you know, this, this was, like you said, you, you pushed John to the limit. I think you were a name that some people didn't know. Will, will you push in your next fight to have this one again? Um, yeah, I definitely would like a rematch. I mean, I won. <laughs> but, uh, and it was very controversial. It wasn't like he blew me out of the water and I was like cowering in the corner and, you know, sitting on my butt like, don't hurt me. Like, no, I was bringing it to him, you know. Uh, but I'm going to go home, rest up, you know, maybe go on vacation, sit on a beach somewhere and uh, figure out what's next. You know, sit down, talk with Dana and... Uh, figure out my future. Uh, no matter what, I, I, I showed who I am, and I think very many people can respect that. Hey, Dom, to your left over here. Um, Dana just left. Did you, did you see him on the way out? Did you, did you talk to him at all? Yeah, yeah, we talked in the locker room. Want to tell us uh, about what? He said, you're the man, kid. He said, I'm proud of you. And uh, if it's any consolation, you, you, you're the future of the UFC, light heavyweight division. And how did that make you feel? It's extremely proud. I mean, I've been in the UFC for two and a half years. That was only my 13th fight, my first time ever going five rounds, you know. And for Dana to say that to me, you know, it means a tremendous amount. You, you've seen the scorecards, right? You, you knew there was a 49-46. So yeah. I just wanted to get your thoughts on, I mean, 
do you think it's an issue with the Texas Commission? Do you think, uh, wh where do you think the, the issue lies? I don't know, man, but the disrespect. <laughs> I, mean, I, I don't know, I don't know where it lies. I, I mean, I don't know who's judging, because even, even if they were boxing judges, I had some very impressive boxing out there. You know, I was working the body, I was working the head, I was, I was slipping, I was, I was having fun, man, but whatever. A couple times I saw um, you were kind of batting down his, his lead hand. Was that because he had the fingers extended? Well, a couple of times I punched his fingers. <laughs> I wasn't batting it down, I was punching the fingers like, bop. Uh, uh, yeah, don't stick your fingers out, man. Like, I, I wasn't doing that. You don't need to try to stop me, put a, like, put a spike in my face, but it's neither here nor there. I mean, I got it done. I was still landing, even with that or without that or whatever. I was having fun. Last thing for me, um, the fourth and fifth rounds, those are the ones that I guess the judges uh, gave him. Um, was it, was it a, a matter for you of cardio? Or what, what do you think it was that, that gave him those last two rounds? I mean, I'd never been in the fourth and fifth before. Um, it was a big learning experience for me. Um, I, I kind of knew I was up three. I, I felt like I put it on him in the fourth as well. Um, and the fifth, I thought he was going to do something wild. You know, I thought he was going to be spinning the whole time and trying to fly a knee and all that. So I was, I was just sticking and moving. But uh, that is what it is. Dominic, right here. What did you do on your cardio that it's like you kind of had that look all week that you knew something that we didn't know, and you kind of got winded in the third, but then you got that second win. So what did you do differently that you haven't shown? Of course, you haven't win five rounds, but what, I'm pretty sure you trained a lot differently to get uh, prove us wrong. Yeah, uh, to be 100% honest with you, man, I hit, I hit the streets. I hit the streets hard. Um, I usually do like a MMA-style conditioning where it's like a program where you – you know, have all these set workouts, treadmill sprints, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but this time I was like, nah, I'm gonna hit these streets. And that's what happened. I mean, that combined with pushing myself as hard as I possibly could every single day. I mean, I was getting, I was shark tanking myself for the sake of shark tanking. Like, there wasn't a reason to get a new fresh body every time I escaped. I mean, we saw my takedown defense tonight. It was fantastic. John Jones doesn't get stuff like that, you know? And that's a testament to the hard work I put in. You know, I, I, was doing, I was putting myself in situations where I'd escape and then a new guy would come in for like 50 minutes straight. Like, and I was doing that with striking exchanges as well. I mean, I've never worked that hard in my entire life. And uh, I thought I could get it done. And uh, I felt like I won that fight. But uh, the judges in, here in Texas, they didn't agree. We talked about earlier this week about taking chances and not being a sparring partner. After going 25 minutes and taking chances, do you think you can beat John without them taking those crazy chances now that you've been in the octagon with him? That's me, man. That's how I fight. I'm a dog, man. You got to get in there and be a dog. You can't go in there and be tentative and nervous. I'm there to scrap, man. I love to fight, man. Look at, look at my strike count. Look at how much I throw. I, I'm a scrapper, man. I'm a dog. And you got it. That's just who I am. That's how I fight. And before John hangs it up or moves up divisions, do you think he has to see you one more time? I'd like to fight him again. He, uh, at, at the very end of everything, you know, he was like, dude, you're, you're the real deal. Like, I did not expect that from you. I'm like, I know. Like, saw it in your face. But uh, he said, when we rematch, it's going to be epic. So. How does I feel to have the, the, the champion, the champion's attention like that? It wasn't like he didn't take you serious, but it's like, it's, I guess it's a lot different that you share blood for 25 minutes. Well, I, he knows I, I don't only just have a left now, so. <laughs> <laughs> and and fi final question for me, what does this do for the Dominic Reyes brand? It's like, you, like I said, we, we got the secret now. You had the secret in your pocket all week. You had the swag on a 15, and you showed that you're the real deal. Mm -hmm. So what do you have to do to let everybody know that you're going to be around for the next few four to five years to be that guy to take over this division? I just got to keep working, man. I mean, you don't, you don't get to this level and then stop. You know, I want to be great. I want to be one of the greatest. So you got to keep working. I got to keep working. Yeah, I'm going to take a little time, you know, heal up, enjoy my life a little bit, but I'm coming right back to it. I think this, uh, 
this solidified my, my spot in the, the UFC for a very long time. Dom, right here. Thanks for coming to talk to us, by the way. Um, you mentioned you need some time to heal up. Obviously, you were limping out of the octagon. You limped in here. I think I saw something that maybe on the ESPN post show that mentioned something about a potentially torn ACL. Can you give us any insight on what's actually going on with you? I'm good, man. We kick the crap out of each other. <laughs> My legs don't feel nice, uh, but I, I don't think anything's torn. I mean, I wouldn't have walked. I'd be on a wheelchair or crutches right now. Yeah, I'm ginger, but have you ever been leg kicked that many times? <laughs> there it is. Um, what would you do differently in a rematch? What do you think it would look like? Because obviously you feel like you did great in there. You feel you won the fight. So what adjustments would you make to, I guess, make it even more definitive? Hey, come on, man. I can't give away the formula. What are you talking about? <laughs> give us a hint. Win in the judge's eyes. Does that take away from you know that extra factor in the back of your head that you need another thing you have to consider? No, I'm gonna fight my fight every fight, no matter what. And I I'm gonna fight for me. I'm gonna fight for my family and friends and my supporters and all the fans in the UFC. You know, fans want to see fights. They want to see great fights, and I, I intend on giving it to them. Hi, uh, my name is Takashi uh, from UFC in Español. Así que te voy a hacer una pregunta, ¿ok? Um, vimos tu excelente desempeño. Realmente creo que coincidimos la gran mayoría en que no fue justo el resultado. ¿Cuál sería tu mensaje para la audiencia de Latinoamérica y crees tú que estás en tu mejor nivel? Um, I need you to translate that a little bit. <laughs> But your Spanish is good. Uh, it's not great. <laughs> I, you try, please. Uh, <laughs> not Are right. you on the best level? I'm, that's a lot of thinking right now. Okay, you try in Spanish, please. No? Not right now. Next question. <laughs> okay. Thank you. We're good. You guys good? All right. Thank you. Thank you for coming out tonight.